Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going through what is on my Mac from productivity to coding to security and kind of covering everything that's on my Mac computer that I use every single day. Before we get started though, I want to say a big thank you to NordPass who sponsored part of this video. And of course, if you aren't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Shout out to all of you wonderful users here. Thank you for your support and love. Um, you all, as I mentioned in a few videos, just mean the world to me. So thanks for, for all your wonderful comments. Okay, let's get started. Actually, one last thing before we get started, as you can see my computer, I have a computer right here. We are not going through that computer. We are going through my personal Mac computer. Ooh, you can see it's quite dirty and dented as well, but anyway, so we are going through this computer uh, to be clear. Okay, the first thing I want to go through on my Mac is security, what I use to store my passwords and really keep organized with all of that. And for that, I use NordPass. I've been using NordPass for a while now, and one of my favorite things that really drew me to it is that I can store my passwords not only in one place, but they also have a mobile and desktop app, so it's easy to access. Also, as you can see in this mock-up, they have different folders for finances, social media, work. I'm not going to show you my actual one as I don't want to expose all my emails that are attached to things. I also have a folder for personal where I can store more of my personal things, but I definitely also have social, finances, and work. Also, it's so important to be updating your passwords and changing them on a regular basis. And I love how they offer to generate secure passwords for you. And another thing I absolutely love is they save your credit card information. So when I am shopping on different sites, I don't constantly have to be getting up and going to find my credit card. It's already saved securely for me. And don't worry, I have you covered. They are currently doing a 70% off plan. So make sure to click the link down below in the description or enter Tiffin Tech code for 70% off. Also, I want to note, it's not only important to have a password manager, but it's essential that that password manager is secure, reliable, and the best out there. And that's where NordPass comes in. So I'm really excited about this promotion they're having. So if you don't have it currently, go check it out. Okay, let's get into some apps that I use for coding. It's probably not that exciting or surprising, but I'll walk you through it. So for, you know, the most things for personal projects or, you know, just in general, I'm a huge VS Code fan for IDEs. I work with JavaScript a lot and it's just become an essential for me. I can't imagine using a different IDE. So Visual Studio Code I have um, and I use it every single day. I don't know what else to say about it, it's awesome. Another app I have on my computer is Xcode. I am definitely not a strong iOS developer, but I have had to do it in the past um, and ex I have experience with it, but it's not something I'm currently working with, but I have, especially with building different apps for friends or different kind of startups um, contributing to that. So I have Xcode as well, although it's not as widely used as say VS Code. And then of course I have Postman, um, I mean, once again, I don't know what I would do without Postman. It's essential. Um, yeah, those are kind of the coding apps I have on my computer. I, you know, I use GitHub. I use um, Stack Overflow, obviously, but those aren't apps, so it doesn't really count for this video. Okay, so for next step, I will go through content creation. Um, I am a huge Adobe Suite fan. I guess it's because my undergrad, my degree was in graphic communications management where we used a lot of Adobe different products. So I've just kind of stuck with them uh, continuing and they are just always really reliable. So I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit all my videos, um, including the one, this one I will be editing. Um, or, if I, or if my editor edits them, uh, she uses Adobe Pro as well. Uh, what else? Photoshop, I don't really use Photoshop a lot or Lightroom. Um, all my Instagram photos are pretty much just taken and posted uh, without either of those. But if I do need to touch up a photo or um, add some kind of different color schemes, Lightroom and Photoshop are essential. I do use Adobe Illustrator though a lot for making different cover photos or um, a lot for IGTV, like cover photos that have text on them or cutting my body out and or my face out and putting them onto a different image. So. Um, I'm gonna insert something here because that sounded really weird, but just so you get what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, so those are what I use a lot. Um, I also have Android Studio, going back to coding actually, I have Android Studio on here, which I should delete because I haven't had to use it in a long time. But at my last job, I was developing with Android Studio for the IDE and um, 
using my personal computer, so I really should remove that to free up some space. Also for content creation, I have a cool color picker, which um, I just have the free version of it. If I need to find the exact color code for something, um, I just pull that up pretty much. What else do I have on here? I feel like there's nothing that exciting, um, but I love these videos, seeing others do them, so. Okay, next topic we'll cover is organization and productivity, how I kind of stay organized, focused, and productive. So the first one I want to talk about is the app Sticky Notes, and it's simply, as it says, it's just a sticky note app, and I can kind of um, continue to add different ones, delete them, color code them. I'm a very visual person, so having these really helps kind of stay organized and focused, and also be able to have them right on my desktop without relying on physical paper. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh my gosh, okay. So this has made a huge difference, difference which is the app Flux. Um, it's completely free and it just basically changes the color of your screen based on the time of day and your preferences. So I don't use this when I'm, especially if I'm, if I'm working in the back end side of things for personal projects, I don't need it, but for front end, if I need to see the colors and design, I have to turn it off because it will change your colors on your screen. But when I'm watching Netflix or just kind of like relaxing and using my computer to for entertainment, especially in the evening, I've been looking at my computer all day um, and my eyes are tired. I probably shouldn't be on it, but I am. I turn flux on and it's like this yellow light and it's just so much easier on the eyes. I, it's wonderful, so check out Flux for sure. Okay, this isn't necessarily an app that I have on my computer, but I will also use for organization and productivity the Pomodoro timer, but I don't have an app for it on my computer. I just more so open it in a browser, Google Pomodoro, Pomodoro timer, and um, that really helps me stay focused and organized too. I typically work in increments of 20 to 30 minutes and then take about five to 10 minutes off. And during that time, I'll go get tea, play with the dogs, um, you know, just be distracted for a little bit. But I had to mention that because it definitely has made a huge impact in my workflow and um, how I kind of stay focused. And then also for things like signing documents or contracts, I have Adobe, 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 uh, Acrobat Reader, the pro version, so it's easy to quickly, especially now that we're doing everything virtually, uh, sign contracts or documents and give them back and have them stored in one place. That is essential. And that's kind of my Mac in a nutshell. As I mentioned, this is my personal Mac computer, so I try and keep it organized, but I'm not going to show you my home screen right now because I think some of you would have a freak out of all the um, like different screenshots and folders on the main desktop area, but I, I need to organize it. It's forever evolving, it's an evolution. So I hope you enjoyed going through my Mac and I felt like it was like kind of like showing you into my world a little bit. Um, like very personal, I don't know why. But um, I hope you enjoyed it and find all these tools very valuable as I do. Make sure to leave in the comments other apps that you use on your computer. I'm always looking for a new good app, so I'm open to suggestions. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more tech and coding related videos, and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.